we all know the East is a mess right now. And not even just the East, the whole NBA is a mess. It's just literally just Golden State and Cleveland. But can Boston give Cleveland a run for their money? Stay tuned to find out. What is up guys, Game Genius here, back at you with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the Boston Celtics. Now, we've made a bunch of videos on the Boston Celtics back when, back before the draft when we made a video about Markel Fultz, if you went to the Celtics, that video about Gordon Hayward, but I'm considering this like a, not really a video about the Celtics, but a video just about the NBA in general. Now, there's a lot of big moves in this offseason, as we said in other videos. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. Um, but we got Paul George to the Thunder. We've got Gordon Hayward to the Celtics and a bunch of other pretty big moves. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this next season is that I feel like the NBA is getting more balanced. Now, you can see the Thunder, for one example. I feel like... Um, with Paul George leaving the East to go to the West in the Thunder, I feel like that's a good move just because the East is already so bad. And because the East is so bad, um, you might as well just make the West more competitive. Now, LeBron obviously has a straight path to the finals, but with Gordon Hayward coming from the West to the East on the number one seed, which I honestly don't think they should have been number one. I feel like I have a conspiracy, but um, I think that's a, another video. But Now with Jimmy Butler leaving the East to go to the West to make the West more competitive, in a couple years, who knows, maybe the Timberwolves will win a championship. You just never know with basketball. Like, no one thought the Cavs would win the championship two years ago, and what they do, they won. But we're here to talk about the Celtics in the dynamic duo or should be a dynamic duo of Isaiah Thomas and Gordon Hayward. Now, Gordon Hayward is one of those quiet players that no one really talks about him, but he's still an NBA superstar. Now, he didn't have the best team behind him. He had maybe Rudy Gobert, a pretty good defending center, but he really didn't have anyone else on offense. With a playmaker and a scorer like Isaiah Thomas, he'll get more touches, he'll be able to spot up for shots, and it just in general his confidence will go up and he'll obviously play better now i think they're both very unselfish players so i think that they'll be able to fit well together unlike let's say if paul george went to the Cavs, i do not think that would work out because i think paul george is a very selfish player now actually i think he'll do good with the thunder because i mean they're both very ball dominant and he'll have to change his style of play to maybe being a spot up shooter or a spot up attacker he won't always have the ball in his hands like he was in the Pacers but I'm kind of getting off topic here now Al Horford is an amazing player former all-star and we already knew that he plays well on the Celtics not as good as he did on the Hawks because the Hawks to be frank I just I don't even know what's wrong with them um but yeah he was a pretty good player on the Hawks he's not as good on the Celtics but that's just because he's got a bunch of more stars i don't really feel like he's doing anything less you know and to put this video to an end i feel like the celtics will be able to save the east because they'll be able to give the Cavs a run for their money they've got a core of isaiah thomas al horford and gordon hayward which they'll mesh together i'm pretty sure and then they've got jason tatum coming probably off the bench but he might improve maybe even be rookie of the year because we just saw Lonzo Ball's poor performance you know so yeah this is the end of this video please leave a like if you enjoyed it and if you agree send this to your Celtics fans and send this to your bandwagon Cavs fans and peace